Hey there, my name is Moksh and I am a security engineer at Astra. So today we'll learn about the WPVCD malware. We'll also take a look at its symptoms and reasons for its existence on your website and finally how you can remove this malware. So the WPVCD malware infects your WordPress site by leveraging the loopholes in the outdated themes and plugins. It creates backdoors in your website and modify and add files to your WordPress. They also do a lot more damage to your website and your business by adding spam URLs to your website. The reasons for this infection are pretty obvious. First is the use of null themes. Remember, for your security, this malware comes pre-installed with them. Second is the use of outdated themes and plugins. And finally, not using a web application firewall. So here's how you can know if your website is also infected. If you're seeing a new WordPress admin or if your hosting provider has suspended your account or there's a SEO spam such as Japanese search results or pharma attack in Google search results, there could be unknown JavaScript code in the source of your website. You might also notice some unknown PHP files in the WP includes folder or in the uploads folder in the WP content directory and its subdirectories. Now, if your website is also infected by this malware, you must have seen some code like this. This code actually installs the WPVCD malware in your theme files, whether enabled or disabled, and also creates other malicious files. Similarly, this one creates a backdoor by adding a new admin user. Now it's time for a malware cleanup. First, you need to search for matching string patterns or files usually found infected. Second, you need to run a diff check with files in WP Core repository and examine its content for other malicious code. And after you find it, simply delete it. But do you realize that you could have prevented all this from happening and saved all that time and effort? So here are a few simple ways to protect your website. Delete any unused themes and plugins. Update your themes and plugins. Completely avoid null themes. And fourth is devise a simple security strategy, CPM, clean, protect, and monitor. Make sure your files and databases are 100% clean. Use firewall like Astra to prevent reinfection attempts. And run regular malware scans on your files. Cleaning malware can become an even more lengthy task as malware infects other parts of your website as well and is often very difficult to figure out. But don't worry, if you want us to help, then feel free to check out the links in the description. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and reach out to us on our website. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Until then, stay safe and happy security to you.